All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make this text distress effect here in Photoshop. And yes, you also can make a fully transparent version of this. If you wanna have similar results that I do, make sure that this is your artboard size. So first let's select the type tool. I can type in Panther and I'm gonna go to the characters and search for humane. I'm gonna select the humane bold. By the way, this is a free font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Also with the other font that I'm gonna work with. Press and hold Alt, create a new copy. And I'm gonna double click rename. And now I'm gonna choose the silver mist italic. Next, we're gonna select the background. Press and hold Shift to select all the layers. Right click, convert a smart object. Let's go to the filter, blur gallery and select field blur. Here we're gonna customize the blur. You can increase or decrease the blurness on this wheel. I'm gonna increase it and I'm gonna put it somewhere here. And I'm gonna add another one here and reduce the blur to five. And I'm gonna add another one here at the right, reduce it again. I think it's pretty good. I gotta go on the top, click OK. Now before applying the distress effect, you're gonna need to make sure that you're on black and white here. If the black is on the bottom, then if you go to the filter, filter gallery, you can see the background is gonna be black and the white areas are gonna be red. So in this situation, we're gonna to need to reset this. So let's go to these little cubes here, click on them, and this is gonna reset it. So the black is on the top and the white is on the bottom. Now let's go to the filter, filter gallery. Now let's go to the graphic pen. Make sure the stroke length is on five, light dark balance is on 50. We're gonna go down to this little plus, click on it. And as you can see, it added another filter and we're gonna change it to torn edges. And I'm gonna go and customize the torn edges, something like this. And you also can go back to the graphic pan and change up here the settings, increase or decrease the effect and see what results you get. I'm gonna decrease to four, click okay. Now let's go to the filter again, noise, add noise. Make sure that you're on monochrome. I'm gonna go with 34, click OK. Now, if you wanna make this with transparent background, I'm gonna go and uncheck the add noise, press Ctrl J to create a new copy, right click on this, rasterize layer, and now I'm gonna go to the select color range, make sure to choose shadows, and with the fuzziness, I'm gonna go with somewhere around 12 and the range somewhere around 40. Click OK. This is going to select the text, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and you can uncheck the bottom layers. And here we got the transparent version. And this was the second version. Hope it helped. Thanks for watching.